Hello, and welcome to the Library Roadshow, brought to you by your East Baton Rouge Parish Library and our good friends at the Around Town Show. I'm Mary Stein, the Assistant Library Director, and I'm happy to report that your library is alive and well. Our 2011 numbers are coming in, and they show that you are using your library system in every possible way. If you ask me, 971,205 questions answered is a pretty good indicator that you still know who to call, text, or chat with for your reference and information. And speaking about staying in touch with your library, be sure and update your library card to include your email address. That'll help us get your reserves to you much quicker. Remember, your library card is your all-access pass to information, entertainment, in-depth reference, leisure activity, lifelong learning, as well as workforce development and even serious research. But before we get started with the February edition of the Library Roadshow, we have two very special guests in the studio. Joining me now all the way from England or Swine Palace at LSU <laughs> are Miss Charlotte Lucas, as portrayed by Jessica Jane, and Mr. Charles Bingley, as played by Benjamin Kucherik. Welcome to the, to the Library Roadshow. I'm so happy you were able to make it all the way here. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. Well, let me tell you. Here at the library, we really geek Jane Austen, and it seems that you do too. Tell us about the production of Pride and Prejudice that's currently being mounted by Swine Palace. Well, it opens tonight at the Shaver Theater at LSU. Um, show, the show starts at 7.30, and tonight's a special night. Tonight is Pay What You Can. Yes. We have performances running from tonight through February 19th, uh, Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, evenings will be at 7.30 and Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. So and that's lots of opportunities lots for of people opportunities. to go day or night. If you don't like to drive at night, you have the matinees, exactly. right? And this first Sunday, the 5th, we have a special post-show dessert and wine reception with a tour of the costumes and set as well. So uh, if How did I miss finding out about <laughs> that? <laughs> All right. Now, tell me what theater you're actually using for this production. It's a very special venue. Mm -hmm. It is. We're using the Shaver Theater, which is brand new. It's beautiful and newly renovated, and we've just transformed it into this beautiful Regency and actually, it's really a very old theater. Yes. It's the old Music and Dramatic Arts Theater, yes, the one that right. I went to back <laughs> in the day in the 70s and 60s. And it's been beautifully transformed. They call it, what, Beaux-Arts style or something? Yeah, Art and Deco. Art well. Deco. It's mm. just very rich and glamorous and re really well suited to your production. It really Absolutely. is. Now, tell me about your roles. Give me a sample. Well. A woman is better off showing more affection than she feels. If Miss Jane Bennett is so discreet as to not help Mr. Bingley on, he may never do more than like her. Uh-oh. Upon my honor, I never met with so many pleasant girls in my life as I have this evening, oh. and several of them are uncommonly pretty. Oh, this is a party place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Bingley is a party animal, I'm thinking. Most mm -hmm. definitely. Okay, so, so tell me about these costumes. They're uh, gorgeous. Well, all of our costumes have been designed and created from scratch by our absolutely fabulous uh, costume designer, Corey Globke, yes. who will be actually doing a workshop at the... One of our libraries, mm -hmm. at the Blue Bonnet Regional Branch Library on Saturday, at February 4th. At 2 p.m. That's right. Yeah, so, I mean, if you're interested in in costumes or even just want to hear uh, a little bit about what, it, what went into it and his training yeah. and stuff, then go check him out. He's he, brilliant. He okay. and the whole team at LSU have worked on 28 cast members uh -huh. and over 200 hours easily of uh, constructing all these costumes, mostly by hand. Well, we have samples of the costumes and even podcasts of y'all in rehearsal mm -hmm. on the library info guide, the, the Jane Austen info guide on the library's website. So y'all need to check that out and then you can link to Swine Palace from there and get ticket information. So thank you for joining me today. As I said, we really geek Jane Austen, and whether it's the real deal, for example, the Pride and Prejudice production at Swine Palace, or a modern spinoff like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, <laughs> or this one, which is almost X-rated, Mr. Darcy Takes a Wife, um, your production sounds like just the ticket for a Valentine's night out. So check out that info guide at ebrpl.com. 
for a list of all the Jane Austen inspired events and materials that we're going to be hosting in the library in February. What's the best bargain in town? Your East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Thousands of free classes, workshops, performances, and community events each year. No ticket required. All you need is your library card. Your library system has over 1.8 million things for you to enjoy, plus our electronic collections. Sarah Crawford joins us now to introduce us to one of those digital resources in the digital download. Enhance your research with NewsBank, the library's online database. With U.S. news content from local, regional, and national sources, this resource is the largest of its kind and it's easy to navigate. With NewsBank, you have access to news from around the country dating back to the late 1980s in most cases. Its diverse source types include printed and online newspapers, blogs, journals, newswires, broadcast transcripts, and videos. You can browse articles from the Times Picayune and The Advocate and other Louisiana newspapers, as well as news pages from all across the United States. You can explore a specific issue or event through detailed coverage provided by local reporting, or compare a wide variety of viewpoints from across the country on topics such as politics, business, health, sports, cultural activities, and people. To access NewsBank, just visit our online databases page at ebrpl.com. All you need to gain access to NewsBank is your library card. Back to you, Mary. Thanks, Sarah. And now, here's Kayla Perkins reporting in from Beyond the Stack where we introduce you to one of the many branches accessible through your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library System has 12 sensational branches. I recently visited the Greenwell Springs Rope Branch and met with Yvonne Bird in Children's Services. Built in 1997, this mm -hmm. branch is still in its original uh, location. Yes. Tell us what sets it apart from the other branches in the system. This library is so fabulous, but mm -hmm. uh, I think the staff here is just outstanding. Uh, we've been told several times by uh, patrons who come into the library that they come here because of the staff. And our main goal is to always put the patron first. Uh, I think each department has staff that is really devoted mm -hmm. to uh, providing the educational, recreational, uh, entertaining uh, needs of the, of the community yeah. through books and through DVDs and through magazines. And um, yeah, that's where we are. That's what sets us apart. Okay. Now you mentioned children. Tell mm -hmm. us what you have enjoyed most about working in children's services. When they get their library card, um. it's like a driver's license to them. <laughs> <laughs> and they are so proud of it. So we have stickers that we give them. One is blue and one is pink. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says, I got my library card today. Wow. And they just stick out their chest. Very proud. Very, very. So the Multicultural Festival, that's a big event at the branch. Tell us yes. about that. It was the first of an annual activity that we're going to have at the library. Mm -hmm. We had so many participants from different cultures. Uh, the costumes that they wore were just beautiful. We had the accents going on. Wow. We had um, the food from the different countries. We had crafts going on wow. from the different countries. Uh, and the persons who participated were just so very excited. It was exciting to us, everyone in the library, the entire staff made some kind of contribution. It was just fabulous. I was smiling all day. <laughs> <laughs> we have display shelves mm -hmm. and each month we have something very interesting and excited. Well, as soon as you walk in the library, there's a display shelf to the left on the mm -hmm. wall. Then when you walk into the main foyer of the library, there are three display cases. Yes. And as you're leaving the library, there is a display case. And we always try to have something interesting there. And it's open to the general public. The right. display case is, is open to um, persons from the community who have something that they would like to share. Wow, there is so much going on at Greenwell Springs Regional. Yes. So tell me, what is your vision for this branch in the next five, ten years? Oh my goodness, uh, bigger, better. Mm -hmm. Whatever we have already done, do it again, 
but just make it bigger and better. Right. And we're just very proud of Greenville Springs and just continue, want to continue mm -hmm. to enhance what we already have that's yes. working. And mm -hmm. if something isn't working, let us know. We'll do whatever it takes for us to make it work. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? You have every reason to be proud of Greenville Springs Regional. We're excited about what's going on there. Thank and you. And we thank you for chatting with us Certainly. today. Certainly. Thank you thank so you, much. Missy it's Vaughan. been my pleasure. Great. Greenwell Springs has hosted some terrific programs and exhibits over the past 20 years. Their second multicultural festival is scheduled for this coming April, and it should be a terrific program. They're calling it Exploring Other Cultures, and they've planned a wonderful variety of sights, sounds, smells, and even tastes to help children and adults experience the many cultures present in our parish. They've also hosted Attic Treasures and Author Row in the past. Want to learn more? Browse the online calendar or pick up a copy of The Source for more information about programs at Greenwell Springs or any of our library branches. We'll be back in a moment with Sharon Weltman of The Dickens Project.